run nonprofit and for-profit businesses, and through it all, I've taught at universities, youth programs, camps, professional studios, and for the last many years at Charleston Collegiate. And I should have some words of wisdom for you. Unfortunately, I don't have any. The older I get, the less certain I am that anything is absolutely true. And if anyone here tells you they know exactly what the world's going to be like in five years, they're lying to you. But I don't have, if I don't have wisdom, I do have experience, so I will tell you a few things that experience has taught me. First of all, experience has taught me that all of these people here want you to find happiness. Every single one of them. And when you think about it, that's a very cool thing. Okay. Now, I have shared with some of you that in recent weeks, I have had a feeling that I haven't felt since I graduated from high school the first time. In the next few days, you'll feel it too. There'll be a moment that, like Tanita talked about, there'll be a moment when you realize that you're not a high school student anymore, and you won't really know what happens next. You may know what school you're going to, or what you'll be doing next year, but you've never been there, so you can only guess what it's going to be like. It's a weird feeling. I haven't felt it in 48 years until now. I'm not sure about what happens next either, and neither are you. So because you can't look forward, you may look back, as Panita also spoke about. You can back, look back on a lot of work, papers, tests, friendships, teams, championships, honors, awards, failures, frustrations, and finally, accomplishments. Now when you're young and you accomplish something, people reward you with stickers, and certificates, trophies, diplomas, and when you're older they may give you money or put your picture in the paper or give you a gold watch. But experience tells me that there's only one sure measure that you can use to judge the time that you will spend, uh, that, that you spent here. The, it's the same measure that you can use to judge the time you will spend in the schools, the jobs, and experiences that you'll have in the future. The measure is simple. Were the pe places and the people around you better because you were there? If you can say yes to that question, you'll have the happy life that these people out here hope that for you. And when it comes to Charleston Collegiate, I can assure you that we are better because you were here. You may have seen some alumni passing through here from time to time. <clears throat> this week alone, we saw Ty, Jaquan, Trayvon, Emily, Miranda, Trevor, Josh, and others. Experience has also taught me that we will remember you. That I will remember you. I will remember Ashley's bravery at coming to a new school and jumping right in, participating and leading in everything. I will remember how happy we were to see Maggie reappear. And I will remember that she always said hello to me and said it with a smile, even when she had an armful of children. <laughs> I will re remember how serious Amber seemed to be until I discovered that she was really silly and goofy. And I will remember, remember the first time she wrote me a story instead of an essay. I will remember the music from the room next to mine when Jakari decided to teach himself to play guitar, keyboard, and drums, and all at the same time. <laughs> I will remember Utker making the videos for me at basketball games or the plays and the PAIS festival. And I will remember Adidas. I will remember Jorge's spirit and his song and his performances in the play. But 
most of all, I will remember him being himself in all things. I will remember Kitty Sophie's story. And of course, the boyfriend. But I will also remember how seriously she wanted to fit in and how very seriously she thought about the future. I will remember Caroline's beautiful voice and that smile. And Caitlin's beautiful photograph and her enthusiasm in her senior presentation. I, I will remember Michael Oda in the middle of everything, whether it was racing, volleyball, basketball, soccer, or a pile of preschoolers. <laughs> and I will never forget being there. None of us here will ever forget Michael McWhite and his constant efforts to entertain and inspire us. And I will remember the insanely inspired genius of his film. Nor will I ever forget being advisor to a group of seventh grade boys and their worried parents. They're all here now. I will remember the first time Hayden blew by me on the basketball court but I will remember more the first time he almost laughed at one of my lame jokes. I will remember Michael McCann's brains, but I will remember more the, my shock when he spoke out loud to me. I will remember Cole's kindness, but more importantly, I will treasure watching him discover his passion for making a and his desire to get better at it. I will certainly remember Chris's good man. But what will stay with me is that the, the day that he decided, without being told, that he would really leave his job to me. I will remember my favorite class ever, which included Arturo, Alex, and Panita when we experimented with student-directed cur curriculum. And they came out with projects that included underwater cities, holographic teleportation, and the regeneration of limbs. And I will remember Arturo's beats and Alex's art. And I will remember that no matter how late I was for that particular class, and I was late all the time, when I got there, they were always working because of their leader. Yes, Panita was always this mature, even in seventh grade. I will re remember Tommy trying to learn basketball or inspiring us to be better at math, but most of all, entertaining us with beautiful music. I will remember Evan being brave enough to take an acting class and his leadership on the court and around the school. But mostly, I will remember that if I ever needed help with anything, I would always turn to him and he never let me down. All of you teachers have their own reasons to remember you. And they will remember you. And they wish for your happiness. But I feel compelled to leave you with some wisdom. Since I have none of my own, my experience tells me to turn to the wisdom of others. And because I am an arts teacher, and because I am in some small part Native American, I will leave you with some words from my people. For those times when your happiness may escape you. In many cultures, when people came to the shaman or medicine person, and they were disheartened, dispirited, or depressed, he would ask them these few questions. When did you stop dancing? When did you stop singing? When did you stop being enchanted by stories? When did you stop finding comfort in the sweet territory of silence? So, if ha your happiness slips away, as it will, and your answer to these questions is, 
it's been a while, then here's what you should do. Go dancing. Start singing. Play your instrument. Go to a play. Go to the movies. Or even, God forbid, read a book. Or just walk to the ocean, walk in the woods, or climb a mountain and enjoy the sweet territory of science. Class of 2015, we wish you happiness. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Will. Congratulations on your graduation also. Yeah, we'll miss you. Right now, I'd like to take a moment to recognize um, some students for some great achievements. And so, these students are asked just to stand and be recognized as they read your name in your words. First, I'd like to recognize our Oak graduate who has been here since, for 14 years since preschool. That is Mr. Michael McCann. Michael? The Kiowa Seabrook Exchange Club Youth of the Year Award this year was awarded to Miss Caroline Knight. I'd like to recognize the members of the National Honor Society. Please stand as a leading name. Miss Caitlin Eakin. special awards out also. Um, the first is the Spirit Award. And this is awarded to the senior who best embodies a positive spirit and encouraging spirit. This year's award winner for the Spirit Graduate Award is Mr. <laughs> Our Merit Graduate. This is awarded to the senior who best embodies determination and a quest for lifelong learning. This goes to Mr. Tommy Hahn. Service Award is awarded for outstanding selfless service to others. This is the recipient, Ms. Maggie Herlong. Our Salutatorian is awarded to the senior with the second highest grade point average, and this year's Salutatorian is Mr. Evan Knox. Our valedictorian this year with the highest grade point average in the class of 2015. She can come on up and get a medal. This is Miss Caroline Knight. for our presentation of diplomas and certification of graduates. We'll start with Mr. Jorge Cuevas. Okay. Mr. Cole Christopher Drury. Flowing hair, got it got me. <laughs> you guys have something with your hair in this class. Um, <laughs> Miss Caitlin Danielle Eakin. <laughs> Mr. Hayden Jeffrey French.
Mr. Zivin Han. Miss Margaret McAdam Herlong. Mr. Christopher James Kitchens. Ms. Caroline Elizabeth Knight. Mr. Evan Price Knox. Miss One C Lee. Miss Ashley Nicole Winscott. It's Tadmi Long. It's the Arturo Mata. It's the Michael Flaney McCann. Mr. Michael James McGuire. Mr. Estes, the car Lindsay. It's Michael Brooks Odom. It's Alex Savar. It's Kenita Tobar. Finally, it's a Wicker Woman. Thank you.